Hello everyone, it's Van Berman here. Today I want to just have a bit of a discussion, or well, just thinking out loud, really, about uh, Keemstar. If you know who he is, he uh, is a news channel on YouTube and he basically just films people's, or YouTubers, drama and beef that they have with each other, so to speak. And basically makes a living off being a sort of aggregator of that news and being in charge of the news channel himself. He also does a bit of streaming as well and some other stuff. Basically the whole reason I even got to hear, got to hear, to hear about this was through um, Idub's video, which he did on Keemstar, which is really good. He makes some really good points. And to be honest, if you want to know, if you, well, if you want to know all about this topic and about the reasons obviously calling out Keemstar, then I would go and watch that video, to be honest. I can't really add too much to that. I just really wanted to give my thoughts and opinions. I do share many of the points that Ian made in that video, so I don't have too much to go against him. But the whole idea of people being able to make a living off of drama, obviously it's not a new thing. Uh, over here in the UK, I'm not sure if it's in America, we have Jeremy Kyle, and it's a similar sort of thing. I know people that really like watching Jeremy Kyle. It's drama for drama's sake. The only problem is when you get an aggregator that can be biased one way or the other. Um, some of his rhetoric has been... Would lead me to suggest he is very corruptible in that sense. Um, whoever the bigger YouTuber is or has the... Or can help him out, help him out the most by coming on his show. Is therefore a good guy rather than a bad guy. And that's not obviously the way the news will be reported, but I suppose it's like that in many news senses. A lot of people say the BBC is fairly corrupt or very left-wing or very whatever. And, you know, just to an extent, I agree with some of that criticism of the BBC. So it just goes to show that, you know, all news sources can be corruptible and have misinformation. Um, generally speaking, I think Keemstar is a quite intelligent guy. He's done very well for himself. There's no no way you can deny that at all. I just think that, well, absolute power corrupts absolutely. And when he has absolute power on his show, it does corrupt the information. I'm assuming that people aren't actually watching these videos, his videos for supreme facts and guidance on the topic at hand. They more just want to see the, see it for entertainment value. Although of the two I've watched, I see virtually no entertainment value in it whatsoever. I don't think the same sort of people who like what I would like, I don't, yeah, I think I clash with the people that like that sort of content personally. Uh, it's not something I would ever go out of my way to watch normally. It just started this video really sort of uh, captured me a little bit and I decided I wanted to look a bit more into it because there were some quite interesting points that you made up about it. Really, injustices and all that do do sort of hit me hard. I mean, this guy's got the potential to really mess up a lot of people, um, especially people that are a bit more fragile and out in the public eye. I know if you're in the public eye, you do have to grow a thick skin, which I believe Keemstar's got pretty much down to a T, even though he is prone to outbursts. I think keeping one's cool is definitely prudent in these situations. And, uh, well, aside from that, I don't really have too much to say. Um, I like, it's a double-edged sword, the whole drama thing. Basically, you've got, uh, YouTubers need to be accountable. And obviously, they're accountable because people make videos about them. If they go and do something wrong or sleazy or whatever, that's fair enough. But then it gets to a point where, at what stage do you start making up stories or fishing for stories or poking something that isn't really there to make a video. Lots of people do it. It's called clickbait, obviously. Um, this video, I suppose, it is a trending topic, I guess, of sorts. Although, from what I gather from some of the videos, people have made videos like months, six months, seven months ago regarding this issue. But I just want to talk about it in general. I'm not a big fan of the whole drama situation. I don't really have any YouTube drama. I don't really talk to that many YouTube people or had any bad or particularly good experiences. So 
I guess maybe that's what comes with the territory of being a small YouTuber. But nevertheless, it's quite interesting. I just wanted to finish it on a note. You will um, may have seen this before. So credit goes to Ian or iDubs. Really great video, by the way. And uh, I'm just going to add this bit at the end for everyone to have a look at about the gnome Keemstar. Cheers. Somebody once told me that I could make some money by bullying some people online. So I grew a gnome goatee and put on a stupid beanie and started making up some dank lies. So, I'm making death threats and I'm calling people nigger Counting that cash on my channel's growing bigger Never you mind that I was already banned from my racist homophobic hate speech rants Found a loophole, now it's my goal to boys in the online punch bowl You never know who are my docs, so y'all can suck on my cocks Hey now, you're a keem star, get your hat on, MLG Hey now, you're a keem star, get your sociopathy And all we care about is news Personal attacks and harassment is totally new. Like, I literally want to kill this dude It's not a threat, it's a promise I want to fucking kill this dude Oh, fucking righteous fucking nigger Alex is doing this shit mm. Can't wait to report your death! <laughs> like, seriously! What's wrong with you, asshole? Everybody type in the chat, Alex is a stupid nigger. I only do this show for money. That's it, alright? I don't do it to entertain people. That's just a fucking scam. I really hope you die of cancer. I hate every single one of you. Fuck the fans. Hey now, you're a keem star, do a trick shot, MLG. Hey now, you're a keem star, eat your popcorn, go tea, and all I report is the news. If you can call this news, somebody wants ask, could you spare me from harassment? Your content is a fucking disgrace. I said yep, and to save my rep, I'm gonna bully you until you're dead. I'll punch you harder than my girlfriend's face. Well, the hate keeps coming for the show where I'm running. Even if I get banned, I'll just keep on coming. Doesn't make sense to give up this shtick. I make mad money from being a dick. For revenue stream, it is my dream to take online gossip to the extreme. I'm a sociopath, don't you know? I'll do anything for a little low. Hey now, you're a keem star, get your keem on, keem star. Hey now, you're a keem star, you're an asshole, keem star. Here's a proper trick shot. <laughs>